Hello, good people. Welcome once again to this honorable channel. It's always a delight to come your way, you know, because the way I, s I love good music, the same I believe anyone who subscribes and who listens to me also loves good music. So whenever we meet, it's a delight to meet you. Welcome once again to this channel. As usual, it might be your first time of listening to me, or if you've been following and been listening to me, you might be aware already. But if it is your first time on this channel, all what I do here is go into the archives of Ghanaian music, the nice ones, the good ones, the ones that you listen, that gives you wisdom, knowledge, and gives you the understanding of life and the world we live in, whatever it is about. I go pick those songs, the old ones, it can be a song produced yesterday, three days or whatever, it doesn't mean necessary to be five or seven or ten years ago. As long as the song was produced and it has been sung and been um, ad admired and listened by cherishedness and those who love and enjoy music, we can bring it, explain it and translate it into English for non three speakers to understand and be able to relate to the songs they listen in tree because as i keep saying there are a lot of Ghanaians who don't speak tree however the music that are produced in ghana most of them are produced are sung using the tree dialect the tree language of which most Ghanaians don't speak it even those who speak it there are some who speak it but not even understand it into the nitty-gritty of it so this is what I'm here to do. There are some Ghanaians who live outside, who live abroad. There are even non Ghanaians who listen to Ghanaian music, yes, but do not understand the lyrics. So this is what I'm here to do. Play a good music, explain it, and translate it in English to the listeners for them to understand and relate to the songs they listen. I mostly do the most old ones not the current one because you know the current generation most of them they sing they blend the tree with the english language so it's easy for someone who doesn't understand tree to relate to those new these new songs that are coming but the old ones that when you listen that you get that nostalgic feelings that vibe that you used to listen when you were young this is what i bring so i want you to sit down relax if you love music and you want to understand the music that you've been listening from the tree to English, you can stay and stick with me. If you finish and you like it, you can subscribe and hit the like button and give a comment, you know. So today, I'm going to explain and translate one of Daddy Lumbe's good songs. Yes, somebody, if you have been following, you see that I keep doing, I keep explaining Daddy Lumbe's song here. Yeah. I love that Lumba. I'm obsessed with that guy. I love his intelligence in music when it comes to that Lumba's work. He's absolutely so much endowed with knowledge of music knowledge. Yes, that man is very, very talented. He understands the literature of uh, music everywhere. Yes, I love him. So today I go into one of his songs called Tokru. Mm, Tokru, this song. I think it's not even played on radio station because it is tagged as a profane song. Yes, yeah. But if you listen to this song carefully and you adore, you appreciate literature, you understand that this that Lumba guy and this song to come that he sang is a piece of literature that has got all the devices and whatever a literature is supposed to have in it. So I'll hit the button, play the music. And explain it bit by bit to the basic understanding of everyone. I might not say it vividly, but at least I'll explain with some uh, whatever for you to understand. So, Tokrum in the first place means in the hole mm, or in the hollow. Yes. Or somebody can say underground. Anything that is a deep, yes, is a Tokrum. Hollow, yes. In the hole, Tokrum. That is a title of this song, Tukum. I love the song because, yeah, it has got 
that kind of vibe please if you are a child if you are below 18 uh, I would advise you keep away from this one because this song has got a bit of some sexual connotation and some explicit kind of nature but I'll try to cover it a bit but if you are below 18 stay away from this video and lo and behold before I continue the song that is going to be played I want no copyright to this song so please YouTube whatever it will be fine please don't block this video for me thank you let's start The beat of the song it hits boom it hits you yeah you feel that yeah, yeah, this guy he's got it this song i think was engineered by apiatus yeah the sound engineers apiatus in the mess <laughs> Hardcore, or they choose hardcore, whatever it is. So, and then man pay here means ladies of today, women of today. That was the time he sang the song about some years ago. He was talking about ladies hating poverty, ladies not liking poverty, women not liking poverty. And it, it, it has descended to now. I, 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 of course, not only women hate poverty, everybody, every human being doesn't like poverty, you know, even men, if you are poor, you know how it hurts, yeah, so women, but women hate poverty more than men do, so he says, and then man pay here, the truth is hardcore, the Akoshibia, women of today don't like poverty, yes. <laughs> Omojieja ready made hmm? and then man pay here Omojieja they like already made things they are they just want the cash the money to blow it they don't want to suffer for it they don't want to hustle for it they want already made to blow it so the truth is hardcore to say it yeah the truth is hardcore but he has said it and then man pay here women of today don't like poverty they want it quick to blow it and spend it. That Lumba here is after saying women of today don't like poverty. He's communicating something that there is some precious thing that is has gone in heading. Mm? And he's saying they are the pa koshe, the akoshe ni. Look at where a good thing, a precious thing has gone to hide. Look at where a precious thing is hiding. Where is it going to hide? Or where is it hiding? That, and what is that precious thing that Lumba is talking about? That good thing that he's talking about that is hiding. And he says it's hiding in Tukrum. Tukrum is in a hole. In a hollow. Yes. As you can say, or even underground. In the hole or in the hollow. Yes. Look at where that precious thing, look at where a precious thing has gone to hide. It has gone to hide in a hollow, in a hole. So after saying that precious thing has gone to hide in the hole, in the hollow, Akoshe Tukrum, now he came back to speak with his mama, saying, Mama, if you're looking for me and you can't find me, if you're looking, searching for me, you cannot see me, search no more. I'm come to tell you where I am. Don't worry yourself, mommy. I'm hiding. Where is that Lumba hiding? Mommy, if you're looking for me, you cannot find me. I'm hiding in the hollow of a tree. 
a dukuru in the hollow of a tree, yes, in the trunk of a tree, there are always a hollow, a hollow inside, basically mostly from the base. Some are also from the upper part, but the dukuru here is referring to the base of a tree with a hollow inside or with a hole inside it. Yes, so that Lumba is saying, Mommy, if you're looking for me and cannot find me, don't worry yourself, search no more. You can find me in the hole of a tree, a dukru. And then the back singer saying that said something. Let's listen. Odemu Odim. So Lumba is saying that in the hole that he is, he is, he has found himself, there's some sweetness in it. Odemu Odim. Sweet in sweet air, yes, he is in the sweet thing of the hollow. Mm, what kind of hollow thing has a sweet? Well, it can be a honey, yes, because I know honeys are found in the trunk and in the hollow part of a tree, so it can be a honey. Oh, probably it's a precious thing, it can be a gold, it can be diamond, whatever Lumba is talking about. But here he's saying that that thing is sweet. Well, Gold is sweet. If you have gold, it's money is sweet. If you have diamond, it's money is sweet. So let's listen to the Zimba. Now he comes to repeat Niakosho, Niakoshe, Tukru. They are there, a question where that thing, that precious thing has gone to hide. Now he knows and he has told us that thing is hiding in a tukru, in a hole, in the hole, or underground, or in a pitch, whatever you can call it. Yes. <laughs> Permit me to say it. Allow me to say it. Mumma menka meka. Eh, allow me to say it. I'll say it. What does he want to say? And he's asking our permission to say it. I have no clue. So let's listen to the song. So he has asked for our apology in advance. Whatever he wants to say, whatever he is going to say, say anofuma ajubere enana. If I make mistake, if I don't say it rightly, please forgive me, Ajobre. But whatever I want to say, I will have to say it, and I can't refuse to say it. I need to say it. However, if I say it and it doesn't go well, and I, I wrongly say it, please forgive me in advance. <laughs> Mecca, Mecca, this one, as for this one, I will say it. Allow me to say it, oh maminka, oh maminka, allow me to say it, Mecca, I will say it, yes. Even if I have to die, I will say it, slaughter me, I don't care, yes. No for my bro, no for my bro, yes, I've already said it. If I say it and I go wrong, please forgive me. He is apologizing ahead of what he wants to say. Oh, what you want now what he wants to say that he asked for our permission and also apologize ahead turns out to be a question yes he didn't say something but he rather asked a question so he come back to say nana damwe so lumba is trying to refer us to adam in the biblical context, in the biblical story, Nana Damwe, our grand, great grandfather, whatever it is, from creation time, the Adam that we all know from creation, Nana Damwe, what kind of fruit did you alone, Nana Dam, eat? 
Hmm? What sort of fruit you alone you eat? I am free to eat you in our Duma Duma. What's your taste in your Duma Duma? What kind of fruit did you alone eat, Nanadam, from creation till now that has brought some kind of burden, some kind of challenges, some kind of feelings, yes? Or let me put it, burden on men. A debate to your banner, Uncle Dio Nana, a free tete to a doman kuma, a at a disobi a good memory sui. What kind of fruit did you alone eat from creation that we know that you ate of a certain food? Yes, people say it's apple, but I think Lumba still doesn't understand himself. He still wants to know because he's asking Adam, and only Adam knows the kind of fruit he ate that has brought. Bedding, that has brought that certain uh, unexplainable feeling on men. Mm. Whether you like it or you don't like it, even your chop money, you used to pay for that fruit. This fruit today, whether you like it or not. Upe umpu, a chop money, pick and climb. Whether you like it or you don't like it, when it comes to that fruit, even if it's your chop money, your spending money, you use it to pay for that fruit. As a man, he is talking in, as a man, yes, yes. <laughs> now he repeat, Adam way, ah, Adam, Adam way, ah. You see, the thing is bothering Daddy Lumba, so he's still insisting of getting to know. What kind of fruit did you alone eat, Nana Adam, our grandfather, from creation? That you alone, what kind of food you ate that has from creation till now that burden, that consequences of eating the food still lingers among men, it hangs around the heads of men, whether you like it or not. As a man, even if it is your chop money, you're spending money, picking can you use it to pay for that fruit? So it's we are all still looking for the answers. So I think somebody should give us the answer. What kind of fruit was that? This fruit, that trauma, that burden that has lingered on men, that has come on men. Whether you like it or not, even if it's in the morning, baking cry, you still pay for it. Uh, if you wake up in the morning, you still encounter that food, you pay for it. Even though you haven't gone to work to get money, but you still pay for it. Mm. Now, all this while, Lumba has not brought Oba in this story. That is a woman. But here he inculcates a woman in the story of that precious thing. Now he comes back to say, It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a DJ, whether you're a chef, whether you're MC, whatever status you are as a man in the society, whatever your status is, whatever position is, whatever your job is as a man in a society, it doesn't matter. When it comes to this precious thing he started with that it is hiding in a hole that is hiding in a hole when it comes to this precious thing as a man it doesn't matter your status it doesn't matter your class in a society women are on top women are chef women are like they are leading they are on top mm. Whether you are a mate, whether you are a driver, whether whatever, whatever, whatever you are. Even if you are a pietus, 
that is the sound engineer, even if it is a peer to who is missing that the song, when it comes to that precious thing, hmm, women are the chef, the boss, the masters. Yes. <laughs> If you are a lawyer, <laughs> lawyers who judge and put people in, in prison, when it comes to that pressure thing, to draw the password, and my women, ladies, are chef, the boss, the champion, the masters. The champion is not house of folk, no. <laughs> We come back to sing the chorus. The akosha, 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 where it has gone to hide. The repetition of it. Look at where it has gone to hide. Look at where it has gone to hide. The akosha. So this is where it is hiding. Now he's come to tell us. Already he gave us a preview. Now he is going to details where it is deeply hiding. If I have to go and look for the solution, the medicine to poverty, unless under a stone, under a mountain, Oboase. Now, Oboase here has two connotations. There is a city in Ghana called Oboase. And that Oboase city is known to be the hub of gold in the Asante region or whatever, yes. That Oboase has got a lot of gold, yes. The city itself is called Oboase. And that Oboase as a city is the hub of the gold of Asante kingdom. Or one of the hubs of the Asante gold kingdom, yes. There are a lot of gold at that Oboase. Now, when Obuasi also means a stone mm, or a rock underneath a stone, the underground of a stone or the underground of a rock, a bow, a bow time is a rock. So a bow here is a, a, a stone. So let me use a stone. Underneath the underground of a stone. Yes. So Lumba is saying, I have to go and look for the medicine, the solution to poverty. If the only place I'll have to find is the underneath of a stone or Boase. So it's either he's talking about Oboase as the city or he's talking about Oboase as the underneath of a stone. And that Oboase as a city, the gold, before you can get it, you have to dig under the ground. Go down. Dig. The word is dig. Yes. Go down. So that deliver is going to look for the solution for poverty. And he has to go under the ground of a stone. Under the stone. Yes. My love loves me. She has loved me like forever. She loves me just like that. Yes. If I had to go and look for the solution, the medicine to poverty, unless underneath of the stone, underground of a stone, the whole part of a stone. Yay! The whole part of a stone. So Oboase, Sikakrum, yes. So here I think you're referring to the city of Oboase, Sikakrum, yes. Because that city is full of gold, and gold is Sika, money. So Sikakrum, Oboase, yes. Now listen. Now he's going to look for the solution to poverty. And he has to go to the Obuasi. It's either the under the stone or the Obuasi as a city. And I said it already. That Obuasi, to get the good out, to go underground. So now he said he's going to look for the solution. And as he is going or as he is there, if he goes under and he hasn't gotten the wealth part that he is looking for, he is not coming. On by it. me ya me ma you me to you. Mm. When he goes under that ground to look for the money, when he, he enters to look for the money, 
and he is not worried enough. Worthy enough. He hasn't gotten the money he is looking for. He is not coming back. He is not pulling back. Mm. I will continue to be inside till I get what I'm looking for before I come back. Into your mama, semi shimwani, semi shimwani, be yummy, my yummy, my yummy, me to your, me to your mama, semi shimwani, send an album. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my mind, in two years, semi shimwani, if I don't get what I'm going getting i'm going to look for the precious thing i'm looking for i continue to be in that hood i continue to be under their underground so i get what i want before i come out before i uh, pull out yes now he's coming to tell us going to look for the solution to poverty under the ground it's not an easy tax what do you have to do to get that money listen so to get solution to poverty, unless as I see as underground, unless underground, down, down, deep down, unless in the hole, unless in the hole, I've already said it, in our as a city, if you're going to look for the good, you have to dig a hole, go underground. Some feet, some miles. Yes. Mama, Jokuro, ah, I just as I see ya, sit down, I just say, I see it out, down. Now, I just say, as I see ya, so until, unless the underground. And when you go to the underground, what do you do there? What action happens there to be able to get the precious thing, to get that good before you can come out? Mm, Lumba will tell us. I just say continue, continue, continue. Unless you bow down, ah, you bow. You go, you 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 come to the lowest level. You bow, who continue? Uh, you bow down. Yes. And you kneel before the hole mm, to get the solution to poverty you have to go under the hole underground and to be able to get the precious turn out of the underground unless you bow down you go to the lowest level not like that alone unless you kneel you go on your knees you kneel down you bow before the hole mm. I, Feeling the vibe. You bow before the hole. Yeah. That hole that has that precious thing. You can't just go there and take it. No. You have to work for it. That's all Luba is telling us. What kind of work? You have to bow down. After bow down, you have to kneel on your knees. Eh? And twist your waist. And you twist your waist. Yes. When you go and you are digging, yes, you are digging. When you are digging for the precious in the gold, you have to twist your waist. Twist. You are using the hole. You are using the ass. You are using the mattock. Whatever it is that you are using, you have to dig. You have to wind your waist. Wind your waist. Wind your waist. Like that. Yes. And shake your sissy. Shake your waist. You wiggle your waist and twist your waist. Mm -hmm. ah, unless you bow down, you kneel before it, and then you twist and wind your waist. Nyompa, good music. Yes. So, me, Daddy Luma, if I get this precious thing, isn't it good? Won't it be good? I will have to get it. It will be good for me to also get that precious thing. And the precious whatever it is, whether it is gold, whether it is honey, whether it is bauxite, whether it is diamond, that the Luma also deserves to get that precious thing from that hole. That hole. That underground man. So adopt If somebody loves me too, isn't it good? So there's some connotations here 
that only the matured mind understand. And I think you have to link it. It's a linkage. That is why I said this song, personally, I adore this song because it, it, it makes you to understand how literally that the Lumba is when it comes to music. His literature knowledge in music. He employed all aspects of the literature devices here. Everything is here. <laughs> So if I, I also get some, isn't it good? Won't it be good for me? If someone loves, love me, if I get a loved one, won't it be good? It will be good for me. I also need someone to love me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So that is the chorus, the repetition of the chorus. The Akosha, 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 to Krum. So I will refer to the Akosha, Akosha, to Krum, Akosha, to Krum. Where that thing, the precious thing has gone to hide. If you're looking for me and you can't find me, Mama, don't worry yourself. I'm in this hole looking for that precious thing. If I go and I don't get what I'm looking for, I'm not returning, I'm not pulling back, I'm not retrieving. Thank you very much for staying with me and enjoying with me. So that is that the Lumba is too cool for you. I hope you understand it. If not 100% at least, you can now relate to the song and understand it from, yes, whatever perspective you want to understand it. Yes, as I said, the song has got that kind of some sexual connotation, but I wasn't going to explain it explicitly because kids might be watching. But as an adult, you can relate to it and then vibe to it. Now that you understand the lyrics, okay? So if you, uh, you have stayed with me, have listened with me, uh, listened to me and you enjoyed and you like it, you like the video and want more of the video, you can like it, subscribe and put your comment under the comment section. And whatever song that is on your heart, it can be gospel, whatever genre of music that is sung in tree that you like it and you want it to be translated and explained to your better understanding. Please put it under the comment section. Until we meet again, I say God bless you. Thank you.